Okay, hey guys, Troncat here. Um, and, um, this is gonna be, uh, my first part. This is gonna be, not the first part, uh, this is gonna be the, uh, first video of my three Game of the Year award videos, including, uh, most overrated Game of the Year, most underrated Game of the Year, and Game of the Year. Um, this is gonna be the most overrated Game of the Year, which means this is the game that I thought got too high of a score, or people were hyping it too much, and people overreacted when it came out. Now this one was a really hard one to do, because I thought, I personally thought that a lot of games in 2010 were very overrated. <coughs> Sorry, I got a little bit of sore throat. Um, but I thought that a lot of games were really overrated. <coughs> um, but I narrowed it down to one, because I thought this game got way too high of scores. I mean, it ended up getting like 9.5s and 9s, 8.5s out of 10, and I was, uh, all I could think was, what? Now, this game is Final Fantasy XIII. Now, I know a lot of you might love this game, and I know a lot of you that hate this game. Trust me, I know a lot of people that hate this game. But, um, <clears throat> this game really disappointed me, because I was hoping for a, a new Final Fantasy game that would actually be good, like Final Fantasy IX. Nine was good, eight was good, heck, uh, I, didn't get to, I didn't get to play much of seven, but when I did get to play of it, it wasn't that bad. Um, <clears throat> so I was hoping that they'd, you know, remember you know, what happened in those old games, and they'd be like, oh, maybe we should fix them now. But no. Okay, they decided to screw it up. They made an RPG that has no RPG elements. Okay, I'm not gonna say no, because it does have a couple RPG elements, like the uh, upgrading system and stuff. The ranking system and all that, and the turn-based system, that's pretty RPG, because normally you see it turn-based. But, um, Besides that, and besides, you know, a little bit up, there's a little bit of upgrading and a little bit of, you know, a ranking system, or there's a good bit of a ranking system and uh, all that stuff, but besides that, it wasn't open world at all, it was the most, it was literally the most linear game of all time. I think a side-scroller is less linear. It's basically, look at it this way, it is a side-scroller that only has one platform, only one platform the whole game. Okay, not the whole game, because I actually didn't even get to beat it, I know, I shouldn't be saying it's the most overrated, but... I got to like 40, 30, 30 hours or something like that, something around there, and I was just like, nope, done. I don't feel like going down a 70, I think I heard it was about 70 hours of game. I don't feel like going down a 70 hour hallway and fighting bosses that take about mm, one hour. Heck, normal enemies could take an hour to an hour and 30 minutes to beat. And I just didn't feel like doing that. Because, <clears throat> yes, the um, combat system was decent. It was pretty good, actually. I kind of thought it was really good for a turn-based combat system. You know, all the paradigms and all that stuff. But it it felt a little too overrated. Because two months previous, White Knight Chronicles had come out. Or two or three months in America. In Japan, it came out two years previous. So, But uh, White Knight Chronicles, from all the American reviewers, said that its combat system failed to, um, failed to give itself a image. And then... Final Fantasy 13 comes out, and they're just like, oh, this, this is one of the most amazing combat systems, and when I was really playing the games, I was thinking, these two games have very similar combat systems, um, and don't, don't say they don't, because White Knights is turn-based, Final Fantasy is turn-based, except for the thing that White Knights, you can move around, and you can switch characters in, in battle, you can switch characters, and you can move around during battle, you know, but basically besides that, it's the same. I mean, you know, you got a bar that fills up, um, you can switch, you can, like, do a special attack with a, um, with L Leonard in White Knight, you could do a special attack, where it would turn you into the White Knight, in Final Fantasy, you could use your, um, oh god, what are they called? Those, like, powers, like, those things that you could use, like, once every now and then, and they would have, like, an extremely dam a damaging attack, and, um, if those of you that have played it will know what I'm talking about, but, um, and I thought that, wow, these are extremely similar to combat systems. And personally, I preferred White Knights because it did have a couple of little things that made it better. But, and then they're saying that Final Fantasy's combat system is amazing and White Knights is bland. Um, weird there. Now, another thing about Final Fantasy is, I will give it this. It's graphics. Oh my god, their graphics are amazing. The, the graphics are just, like, beautiful. I mean, you can see each hair, each strand of hair, 
moving it different. It's just, like, amazing. It seems like they put the most detail into the storyline graphics I have ever seen in a game ever. That's not saying much compared to how stupid the characters are, how annoying the characters are, and how how weird the storyline was. I, I couldn't follow it that well. I mean, it was I could kind of follow it. I could get the gist of it, but just the overall was just like, what? I mean, um, and Michael, uh, one of my friends, he, he'd even gotten farther than I. And even he said that the storyline was getting even stupider. So, and I'm going to take his word for that because he's smart. He knows stuff. He, he's really good at telling this stuff. And it just... Hold on, wait. Okay, I'm at five minutes. Five minutes on earth. But, like, it just, it really disappointed me. Because, I mean, I know the Final Fantasy games have annoying characters. I'm used to that. I'm really used to that. Um, but the story, I was hoping to have a, I was hoping it would have a good story. But it didn't. The only thing that was really good about the story was when you're watching the storyline cutscenes, just looking at the graphics. It's just, wow. But that's the only thing good about it. Oh. One more thing. Going back to the combat system, I didn't feel like going through 20 hours of a hallway just to learn all the combat system. The tutorials for the combat system literally were 20 hours of the game. When I got to the 20th hour, not, not exactly the 20th hour, but when I got to about the 20th hour, the, finally, finally, the freaking tutorial stopped. And I was like, Freaking finally, it took long enough, but, um, it was just ridiculous, uh, it's just, and I just thought that the game was way too overhyped by, not really by people in this one, cause, um, you know, some of the games, like, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, ha I'm, so I'm gonna have to say this, sorry, but I thought that Red Dead Redemption was a little overhyped by the people, and so was, um, Black Ops and Halo Reach even, and heck, even, um, no, I thought, honestly, I thought the Gran Turismo, people were just like, oh, good. But honestly, no, I, even that was a little overhyped by some of the people, and it ended up not being that good, but, um, I mean, there's even some PS3 exclusives that I didn't think were good that last year. Um, like, Final Fantasy, I know it's not an exclusive, but you know it was pushing more towards the PS3, I mean, you can't deny that. And it was just not that good. I thought it was way too overrated, and bleh. They could have been so much better. But no, they decided to make it a 70 hour. I would have even preferred 20 hours of game. As long as it wasn't a freaking hallway. You can go play the game. The maps are literally a hallway. It's ridiculous. I, I just like, it, it made me so angry to find out that it's that linear. Like, every now and then there'd be like a small, small open area. But that open area would be there for like a couple seconds. And then you go down another hallway. It's just, I, I didn't think it was that good of a game at all. But anyway, um, I'm gonna end this, um, I'm gonna become out of the White Knight review later tonight, or tomorrow, whenever I get it done. Maybe later this week, I don't know, whenever I get it done. And then I'm gonna be coming out with my most underrated games of the year, which that one was a lot harder to do, because I thought that there wasn't that many underrated games, except for, uh, you know, one here and there by the people was underrated instead of by the reviewers, like IGN and people. I thought that some games by people were just like, oh, I'm not gonna play this game because it's stupid. And why do you think it's stupid? Because it's stupid! Anyway, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna make some more videos soon. And, um, yeah. I'll see you guys later. Bye.